If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Let's talk about this Kanye and Big Sean beef because this has been playing out over the past couple of days. And today I'm going to walk you through everything that's happened and why both sides, you know, are on the side that they're on. So let's start with the basics. Um, Kanye was on that very infamous Drink Champs podcast which you might have you know seen some snippets from it was i think in november he was talking about donda and he was talking about a lot of stuff that's happened in his life being homeless now just kind of traveling around and also in that interview he was talking you know the the, the host asked him um big sean or push a t and then kanye pulled out this tombstone with r.i.p on it and said that the worst thing that he's done in his life was sign Big Sean and Sean has responded to this on now his episode of the Drinks Champs podcast which aired just a couple of days ago I think not even all of the episodes are out yet but you can watch those hour-long interviews but this is kind of just the essential stuff so Sean said that when he heard this um, he first thought it was hilarious I thought that stuff was funny then I took it personal I took it personal because I'm the only artist who's put out five albums under good music cuddy left a long time ago business wise you know what i'm saying they still clicked up and linked up right so i'm the only artist who put out five albums under good music i'm the only artist who put out back to back number ones platinum albums double platinum albums so he's saying that you know he's done so much for kanye's label by being the only person that's just you know stuck with it and just brought in a lot of the money in there and kanye now doesn't respect him for that he goes on to say and by the way being signed to kanye is a golden opportunity it's something that he changed my life and i love him for that but every time kanye has called on me every single time no matter what i was doing within one day's notice i'm where he's at bro whether it's to contribute to him in the studio whether it's to contribute a line write a verse for him he just take maybe parts of the verse maybe the whole verse maybe just to help him with his vibe wherever he's at in the world bro I've traveled around the world for this man every time he's called and have done this and not ask for publishing a lot of the time why because he gave me a gold opportunity of signing to good music so Sean says that he's done so much in the past for Kanye Kanye, always being there just you know at the call of Kanye and helped him so much and not even received anything in return for it that now it's unfair for Kanye to be speaking out against him that publicly and you got to consider that if Kanye West says the worst thing he's done in his life is sign you then that's obviously going to have an impact on your career and the public perception of you you know Big Sean is an established artist so he probably won't have any problems but still that's not you know not nice thing to do. Sean goes on to say that the deal that he was uh, signed with to good music was a great opportunity but financially it was a terrible uh, decision and apparently in his words uh, Kanye still owes him six million dollars for all the work that he's done for him but not ask for any publishing and the likes of. He said when I heard the, uh, what Kanye was talking about it didn't make sense bro because my manager saw my record deal and said this is a shitty record deal. I would never say that though. Why? It's an opportunity and I can work myself out of anything. Jay Brown for Rock Nation said it was the worst deal he's ever seen. So it's kind of funny seeing how like in retrospect um, those deals that Big Sean signed with Kanye were really not that good in terms of content of the actual contract. So it's funny to see how you know stuff like that plays out. We all think it's all like you know all sunny and all good but in reality it's a lot harsher. Sean then said I had to spend my own money auditing my label because millions of dollars are missing and you can tell when millions of dollars are missing I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on my label thinking Universal owe me this money and the money had been paid to good music again saying Kanye still owes him money and he noticed that when trying to build his own label and putting pouring his own money into it he goes on to say that um, that after that drinks champs interview he said that he texted him the next day and said I want to meet with you and your mom to begin healing on both sides uh, I was angry I took it personally because like you publicly humiliated me when I've been down for you now the reason he brings all this up is because Kanye in his uh, drinks champs interview also said 
bed, which was the reason that he said uh, that he, you know, the worst decision of his life was Sam Big Sean. He said that, I know this man, mom, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've changed this man's family. And both John Legend and Big Sean, when I ran for office, got used quick by the Democrats to come at the boy that actually changed their life. And that's some sellout shit. And I don't rock with neither of them. And I need my apologies. So that's Kanye speaking and saying that the reason he doesn't rock with uh, Sean and John Legend anymore is because they weren't down for him when he was running for president. But obviously, that was a political decision that is political opinions and Big Sean and John Legend are allowed to have different political opinions than Kanye. And I don't think that this is really, you know, a statement and an argument that you can use in a world where you can just speak freely. So I'm definitely on Sean's side on this one. Sean said in the end, uh, though, kind of rounding this up, I love Kanye, bro. I love him for the opportunity he gave me and all these things. But I thought what he said was on some bitch ass shit. And I thought that wasn't godly. It was a personal attack for no reason. And he didn't have to do that at all. So in the end, this is kind of a back and forth between Kanye shooting some shots against Big Sean for not being there for him when he was running for president and then saying that it was the worst decision of his life to sign him, which is a very dramatic for such a minor issue. Um, and as I said, the underlying problem is differing political opinions and I don't think he should blame Sean for having his own opinion and not just blindly following Kanye in everything he does uh, because that's exactly what he's done for years and not received any credit any publishing for that and apparently Ye still owes him six million dollars and the deal they did back then was just very terrible so I think that's some you know I felt like that was interesting I was surprised when I read that because from the outside it always seemed like Sean and Kanye and the whole good music crew it was always a very good relationship but it seems like the contracts were not that good, actually. So this is everything that's been happening so far with the Kanye and Big Sean altercation. Let's see how this plays out. Maybe they'll, you know, hash it out in private. I think that would be the most mature thing to do. I think Sean is in a very good place just mentally, career-wise, um, personally. So I don't think that, you know, he'll have any damage, any lasting damage from this one. Um, but for Kanye, that, that was just unnecessary, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's my opinion. Now I want to know what you think about this. Whose side are you on? Who do you think is in the right here? Uh, do you support Sean's side? Do you think Kanye's comments were justified or not? What do you think about this new information about the contracts back then being actually not that good? Something that I would have never thought. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, Y'all have an incredible day and y'all take care.